G'day, RG Bargy crew. Hope you're having a fantastic day and your family's happy and healthy. Okay, this video is an update to my previous free track IR uh, video showing you how to set uh, a couple of programs up to give you free head tracking in ATS and ATS2. Now, stick around to, to the end because I've got another tip that I forgot to mention in the last video that uh, will make this a lot easier or, or will help you out a lot with your head tracking. Anyway, okay. So what I've found through doing a lot of experimenting and testing is that although with the last video I said you need a couple of different programs to get yourself rocking and rolling, I found that the open track version that I showed you with AI tracking, you don't need AI tracking anymore. I'll explain why. Let's open up open tracking. We'll stop that. There's my ugly mug. All right. So previously in the other video, I showed you that you needed to use UDP over network and AI tracking. Well, what's happened is with the latest um, version of OpenTrack, you can use a tracker called Neural Net Tracker. And you don't need AI tracking anymore to use it. And it's a lot smoother and it responds a lot better to your head movements. So it's definitely a, an upgrade to uh, the previous use of the AI track, which now, like I say, you don't need to do. So let's go into the settings and I'll show you how to set it up. So going into the settings, clicking on the hammer, same as before, you've got the shortcuts. You can bind that to whatever you want. That's totally up to you. In the output, you need to make sure that your is chosen because, again, this is for ATS and ETS, and all I do in ATS and ETS2 is look left and right, so I disable everything else. All right? So make sure your is enabled and everything else is disabled if all you want to do is look left and right. Now, if you want to look up and down, then you've got to enable pitch. You want to make it go sideways, you get the idea. Enable whatever you want, but at the moment, like I say, I only use your. All right? So then the next one is relative translation. Oh, by the way, this operates in like 360 games plus. So again, you may want to uh, enable it for those games. Again, up to you. Okay, relative translation. Like I say, in the previous video, I had that disabled. And again, that stays the same. Same with game detection. I'm not worried about it, so I don't do anything with it. Now, this is where it's different in the tracker you've got to add your camera. So you have a list of all your cameras. As you can see there, I've got quite a few. But you make sure you choose your camera, set up the resolution, and uh, you can even access your camera settings from here if you want to fiddle with them. Uh, frames per second, I just leave on default. Once you've done that, you then would start calibration of your uh, camera. I'm not going to do it because I've already set that up and uh, no need for me to do it. But all you do is start calibration, move your head around, and it will tell you that when once it's okay and it will set all this um, offsets and whatnot for you. All right, and then once you've done that, go to your filters. Make sure that your smoothing is all the way up on both because if you don't, it'll be as notchy as hell, and you want to make sure that uh, it's nice and smooth for you. Dead zones, this is my settings for dead zones. You can set it up for whatever you want, but I find that with my head, <laughs> in my buff head, that these dead zones work best. But again, for your own uh, settings, that's up to you. But make sure your smoothing's all the way across. Okay, so that's all you need to do with neutral, sorry, neural net. Then um, you just use the same free track uh, enhanced, the same as the previous video. So you don't need to change any of those settings. Uh, I've, I'm using track IR in this, disable free track. You can use either one and they both work. Okay, but for now I've just got it for use track IR because that's what I was experimenting on and found it works. So I left it. Okay, uh, then with the filter, the same again with the filter is the uh, seller. Uh, same as previous video, go to your settings. Shortcuts, whatever you want. Output, make sure it's your and everything else is disabled. 
because all you want to do in ATS and ETS2, well, all I want to do is look left and right. If you want to enable those, that's up to you. Relative translation, I've got that disabled. Game detection, I don't bother. Tracking again, that's the same thing. Filter, boom, boom. So basically, it's all the same as neural net tracker. So you make sure everything is set that way. In your mapping, I've changed this slightly and found that this works better and has improved the, um, the response to my head movements immensely. So here in the top one, first off, max it, uh, input is 180 degrees. I put it at 40 up here before in the previous video was over here at 75. But with this one, I found that if we put it at 40, it responds a lot better. On the bottom one, we've put it at 35. Again, these are my settings. You can muck around with that and find out which one works best for you. Now, if you've got picture roll, I don't have any of them functioning at the moment, but it's up to you. Whichever ones you're using, then you'll have to adjust that to your liking. But for now, if all you're interested in is left and right, these are my settings. I found that they're great, that they work fantastic. If uh, you want to start somewhere, that's probably the best place to start and adjust from there. Okay, so let's take a look at it in action. So by clicking start, making sure you're looking at the camera directly when you start. You'll see my ugly mug pop up. Hello. Okay, and as you can see, it responds to that my head movement very smoothly. And I don't have to crink my neck to get it to turn around. Whereas with the previous video, I basically had to turn right around, get it to turn to the right to the left or right to the right, if you get what I mean. Not explaining it very well, am I? <laughs> but anyway, so again, running through that, all you need is neural net tracker and adjust it accordingly. I'll go back over these settings at the end. Uh, I think I already mentioned, stick around to the end because I've got a hint for you to make sure it's uh, a lot easier for you and that everything works properly. All right, so now we'll pop into the game and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here we are in the game. And as you can see, if I turn my head from left to right, it's nice and smooth. I don't have to crink my neck to have a look at the back of the truck. It's going to make it so much easier for reversing. Left and right. Now if I go up and down, nothing happens. It's still a little bit notchy, but nowhere near as bad as what it was with the AI track. So you've got a lot smoother uh, movement. Let's start her up, go for a quick drive around this car park, and I can show you how it's working. But as you can see, by turning right, I can see where I'm going to go to make sure there's nothing in my way. This makes it so much easier. And as I straighten up, so does my view. And again, I can look to the left, make sure nothing's coming. Look around to the right, make sure I'm clear to go around to the right. And back to straight. Just makes driving so much more immersive. Again, now I'll turn to the left, make sure I can turn around to the left not hit anything you get the idea nice and smooth looking around to the left make sure I'm clear so much easier so yeah hopefully that was helpful now what we'll do is I'll show you this extra tip that I was speaking about but I forgot to mention in the last video that makes it a lot easier so what you need to do go into options go into I think it's no it's not controls what is it I think it's gameplay 
Go into gameplay and drag it down until you get to steering camera rotation. Make sure that is unticked because when that's ticked, when you move your steering wheel from left to right, the camera tries to do the same thing. It will try to go to the left and to the right. So it's sort of fighting against the head tracking. So by unticking that, you then, it's only the head tracker that is, is uh, operating at the time. By having that ticked, you're fighting against yourself, if you know what I mean. So yeah, just remember to have that unticked and you'll have smooth sailing from there on. All right, so yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoyed that and hopefully it was helpful. If you did enjoy it, uh, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, all that stuff, because it helps me with the, the YouTube algorithm. And hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.